Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Conversation with Shego and today I have a very nice topic for you guys. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. This is Conversation with Shego. We start a conversation here and also please share the video. You don't know who this video is going to help, so please share the video. So before we get started, uh, I'll be sharing four different stories with you guys today and based on what i'm going to be talking about these victims these four vic these uh different uh victims all share two things in common which is emotional connection and they are all performed by an adult so uh the first story is the story of an house elf a lady who was sexually abusing the children so the mother of the children are usually is usually not around mother uh, is always busy uh, the, the, fa the parents generally the father and the mother they're yelling around so there is an ourselves there to actually help the children out so what now happened the ourselves started sexually abusing these children because they are young they don't know what they were doing and the girl kept on telling them not to say anything that if they say anything nobody will believe them that the mother will not believe them and also the child the, uh, she will be sent away so nobody will take care of them nobody will look after them that's the first story the second story is the story of an altar boy who was sexually abused by the priest so out of all the out of all the other boys the priest took a uh, particular notice to this specific boy so what did the priest do he called the boy to tell him that he'll be a mentor to him and he'll be guiding him through his spiritual journey and all so the day came he sexually abused the, uh, the child and he told the boy to keep quiet that nobody was going to believe him too same uh, nobody was going to believe him because he's a priest nobody's going to believe a child they would think the child is obsessed with the priest so the, the priest kept on taking advantage of the boy until the day, the day the boy actually came out and actually shared the story and funny enough there are other victims who actually have a particular story of the same story with the boy about the same particular priest and the third one is a man who was sexually the father who was sexually abusing three of his daughters and he kept on doing that and told them that if lot his excuse was if lot can do it in the bible so also he can do it this is a this is actually a life story and the fourth one is the story of a driver who was who sexually abused uh the son of the the boss the boss's son so what happened was that the driver took a note of this particular boy the son's the boss's son and the boy is a bit effeminate so the driver took note and sexually abused the boy and what did the driver tell him the boy told him that if he tells the father that he's going to get sacked and nobody will be able to drive them because the father and the mother too they are always not around and nobody's going to believe the child because he's a grown man you just think the child is obsessed with the driver too as, as the same the same story the child is obsessed with the driver so nobody will believe him so what happened this man kept taking advantage of this boy over and over and over again until the, the boy came out and nobody actually believed him the father said even if it happened it happened because he was he caused it he wanted it the way he said that he was the one that seduced the driver so these these four stories what they all have in common they all uh were they all happen with the adults adults took advantage of them and these people have emotional connection let's talk about the the uh the house girl she was the one taking care of the children uh the driver was the one driving the children he had more time and access to the children they could talk about anything the priest was the one taking uh, was the one uh, giving spiritual guidance to the boy and he felt more like a, a mentor or a caregiver and things like that he could actually open up to so many things so the man took advantage of that and the fourth one also emotional connection with the child so what is sexual grooming sexual grooming involves an adult befriending a child with the motive of committing sexual abuse uh, this process may be slow it may take months weeks 
even years sometimes and it is intentional so it involves uh, developing emotional connection with the child and uh, just to sexually abuse the child that's basically what sexual abuse is just an adult befriending a child with the motive of committing sexual abuse with the child so today i'll be telling you guys the six stages of sexual grooming and what to look, how to uh, look out or what are the signs of sexual grooming or the child who is being groomed sexually and what to do to prevent so the first stage is choosing a victim so what does the abuser do or the perpetrator the perpetrator first chooses or identifies the victim so these victims are usually people that have low self-esteem low self-confidence people that are so, uh, the people that are victim of uh, domestic violence, family misconduct, uh, alcoholic parents, drug abuse parents, pro drug abuse users as parents, and people that generally lack emotional connection or who are uh, vulnerable. These are the victims, these are the people that the victims actually, uh, the perpetrators choose. Those are the victims that they choose. So these people, they lack emotional connection and the uh, perpetrators are coming to actually give them all those things that they don't have. So which leads me to the second stage, which is um, building trust and access with the, vic uh, with the victim. So what the, the child abuser, the perpetrator, the predators, what do they do? They start with uh, by making friends with children. Or by sharing secrets, making them feel among, making them feel at home, making them have that emotional connection with the child. So they are usually mentors, or for the sake of the for the story I told about the priest, he's an emotional guy guide. Uh, also, basically, people they come as friends, mentors, and guides, and they actually these are the people that the children actually feel comfortable around so they come to feel that and what are the means that by which they do that they can share secrets they can share uh, gifts sometimes they may, maybe they tell them that we play game or they share a similar story maybe a child that has suffering from a child who is a victim of a uh, of a home of sexual uh, of domestic violence maybe the person has also gone through that process or know what the child is going through he might share similar story with the child as a form of closeness and the child can actually feel comfortable enough to actually say share secrets uh, and some other things with the perpetrator so that is the second stage so the third stage is feeling a need with gifts or favors what do i mean by that the perpetrator usually come with gifts to make the child actually have the emotional connection you know children love gifts or children love people that can do favors for them they maybe by picking them from school buying them ice cream inviting them for parties like a lot of them want to go for parties they want to go for outing or buying special meal making maybe giving them better present and so many other things that the children they know that you actually generate emotional connection with them and the children that's the third stage then the fourth stage is isolating them most times uh, the people or the perpetrators they isolate the children by taking them uh, where the people and public for example for people or child abusers who the perpetrator is in the house they usually it's easier for them because they can sneak into the room of the children at night and um, also by yes they can sneak into the so they always want to isolate the children from the environment maybe inviting them to the room to hotels to have person uh, or offices to just discuss and have private meetings with them to spend more time with them in, and sometimes most of these perpetrators are usually uh, maybe they have maybe they are pediatrician maybe they have um, maybe they are drivers too they spend they have time to actually spend time to, with these children so they create time but they always want to spend time alone with these children but therefore isolating them from their peers from their group because they know that these people are easily they are easily drawn so the so the fifth one is sexualizing or desensitization to touch what do i mean by that uh these people the perpetrators start exploiting the child's curiosity 
what do I mean by that? The perpetrator start introducing child porno, uh, pornography to the child, start uh, touching, kisses, rubbing the back of the children, just physical touches. We make them feel uh, comfortable with them by touching them and doing so many other uh, things that it feels harmless. So these people generally don't know that these people are actually being groomed. Like they touch them, they pat them at the back, they kiss, they hug them, kiss them on the cheek, by the way, not mouth to mouth. And also, they make them, they start giving them sexual talks that they are not actually meant to be given. So they make them feel comfortable. You may imagine somebody that can discuss anything sexually with you. Like if you avoid this movie, a uh, citation, you could see that this process was what the man was doing. He first ran into the girl by saying he cannot drive, so the girl started driving in. Then he started giving, uh, created the tutorial class where he was the lecturer. Then he started inviting the girl to the office. This is even an adult, so sexual grooming can actually occur in adults. He started inviting the girl to offices for private meetings and things like that. Then he went on special vacation, isolating them, making the girl to see the place that so in the Senegal where he, he said it, it's beautiful, but she was the only one that actually saw the place. So the man was actually separating isolating the child then talking about sex with the child that's the net uh, that's the uh, that's the fifth pr uh, process why the final process is maintaining control like the child is actually uh, the perpetrators always want to be secretive and they want to gain control or access over the children what do i mean by that the people always tell them that if you we have to be we have to be secretive about this thing that we're doing because nobody has to know nobody wants to, uh, it to spoil the relationship they'll tell them that uh, it to spoil the relationship it will ruin the relationship so let's keep it a secret and the children are actually confused and they feel that this thing is not right they'll start the same thing that they start blaming the victim victim blame uh, blaming they'll start telling you that <clears throat> you wanted it nobody's going to believe you so don't say anything nobody's going to believe you you wanted this so don't say anything and also you start blaming the child that you seduced me is the way you dressed is the way you this thing you start blaming the victim uh actually and you tell them that if you say something about this thing i will not give you food again or i will not allow you to play game again or i will not invite you to so they start threatening the children with emotional uh disconnecting the ch children emotionally they start uh threatening them with em em uh, emotionally and physically by withdrawing some things that they actually enjoy from these people so that's the last the, the, the final step which is secrecy and maintaining control so they gain control and access over these children so they can they can actually abuse them for a long time so how do you actually identify these people first children who are underage and are using drugs you should always take note of that that's one thing then secondly children your child that is bringing in uh new phones or dress or something that you know you didn't buy for this child but this person is having these things you should always take note because you should know who is giving them, them these stuff and you should and it will take me to the next point know who your children are playing with know who is in charge of the children for cases like uh parents now like the father who sexually abused the children uh, three children always ensure that the any weird intimacy anything that looks suspicious you should always take note of that like there are times that the relationship between the parent and the child it, it seems suspicious it's like father is too overprotective of the children or the mother is overprotective or the sexual behavior the way these people actually interact with each other are very different so that's another way to, to actually detect that so know who your children are hanging out with and also sexualized behavior and people who are curious about certain sexual activities that they are not actually meant to be knowing at that very young age for example, a child asking about certain sexual behaviors like uh, blowjob or something that you feel this man, this child is not meant to know at a certain age, always take notice. Those people are being groomed. So, what can you do to actually uh, do to prevent this? Please 
educate your children about sexual education which leads me to my previous topic that which stops censoring sexual education like these predators actually take time to actually explain certain uh, sexual ideas sex with them and they actually take advantage of them through that means so we should always uh, uh, educate our children about sex education and we, uh, we should educate the children on ways or the stages of this sexual grooming so that so that they can know uh, what this thing is also um, take time to actually know who these people hang out with, who your children hang out with and also another way they actually you can actually know is people who don't spend time at home or always they are not always around they are always scared like how why would your children be scared you don't know where he is you don't know where you cannot account the time for your children or where your child is at this particular time you don't know who is who or she who is who he or she is hanging out with so we should always take account of that and also please 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 i i, I will keep emphasizing it share any information or report any information on any sexual abuse or touches and please avoid keeping secrets make sure you tell you uh, you create an environment in which your children can actually tell you things because no child will tell is no child will tell the parents if there's no safe space or environment for them to communicate that's another thing and please report any perpetrator report any perpetrator this will actually save the life of another person and please believe your children when they talk about uh, abuse or because this, according to stories I shared they all they use it they say they will blame them they will say they will blame the victim they will say they will not believe them or they were the one that initiated it please always believe your children when they're talking about sex with you or sexual abuse with you always believe them a lot of time most people feel that their parents will not actually believe them or they will be shamed or the shame that will come with you so they keep quiet that's another way they maintain control they keep, they keep them quiet by telling them that they will be social pariah or people will start laughing at them at the social stuff or things like that so please we should always believe the children when they talk about sexual abuse with you so this is basically what social uh, sexual grooming is and please share this video it can actually have one or two parents why am i doing this video because i have nephews and nieces i'm, I'm not a parent yet but i have younger people that uh that i, uh, that I have in my life and I, I won't want any of these ugly things to actually happen to them so please you guys should take time to share this video with other people it may help them more ways and also check online check what sexual grooming is i took time to talk about these certain things but there are a lot of information online that will actually help you and guide you more on what sexual grooming is and actually how to avoid all these things and it, it will explain the stages more and better so i've come to the end of the video please if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please comment down in the section down below on what uh some of the stages that i didn't mention or things i didn't mention that actually you think we should share let's start communicate, uh, communicating or discussing or having a conversation around this topic because these topics are very 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 crucial sexual grooming is something that even it happens to adults like a lot of manipulative people actually take advantage of these small kids and it is very very sad perpetrators are out to get uh, children so please let's have conversation around this please give it, uh, this video a thumbs up and also share thank you very much i really appreciate the visit to the end of this video and please subscribe to the channel it will help me out again so thank you and god bless you see you next time bye